Junkanoo Band Owners Association leader Mario Torelli is pleased that the decision to change Junkanoo Carnival back to its original date, but he admitted some damage has already been done. You get behemoths who have invested in cruise ship packages, who invested in booking airfare at a discount rate, uh, dealing with the hotels. You're talking about the taxi drivers who are already commissioned to pick up people from the airport. You're talking about suppliers who are already bringing X amount of materials that April is the full production month. But, you know, in marketing, I look at the positive side. Uh, persons who didn't know there's a Bahamas Carnival knows now who didn't pay attention. I'm sure they're Googling. Let me see this Banana Republic that changes decision like this after it's been set a month. So I look at that positively. Unfortunately, the bonds will lose some income from persons who already planned locally and abroad to attend this carnival. And so we are trying to come up with the numbers and hopefully this government before the house is dissolved give us back some, some, some funding on what we have lost in, in, in revenue. Torelli also wants to extend Junkanoo Carnival by a day going forward. Reach a point where it, it's a, a holiday, uh, so more persons locally could not uh, uh, don't have to work and come on the parade. Give them that opportunity also. You know, like in Trinidad, they have Carnival Monday for those who don't want to come or can't come on the parade. And so it's up to the barn owners. We own this road parade, and so we're going to sit down after this and come up strategically on what we want to present to the government, not wait for them to come to us.